Hi, I'm Phyllis Lang and welcome to Nightwear. This video will demonstrate how you can move an observing plan that you create with Deep Sky Planner to Sky Safari. The initial steps are the same. It's the middle and ending steps that differ depending on whether you're moving to Sky Safari on Android or iOS. We'll demonstrate both methods. So first of all, Deep Sky Planner uh, allows you to create observing lists. And there are other tutorial videos that explain how to create your own. So for example, you can create an empty observing list and populate it using several of the methods that are described in other videos. But for this demonstration, I'd like to download an observing plan from the online community and use that to save to Sky Safari on Android or iOS. So in order to access the online community, you can visit the Help menu and click Community page. That will open your default web browser on your system and log you in to the Deep Sky Planner online community. So I'll click this and my web browser is opened and I'm logged into the community. So I would like to see the plan library and in fact the list of plans. So I click show plans and I'll scroll down to the available plans. Now I've looked through some of these and identified a plan that I think will work well for this demonstration. It is the binocular uh, back, backyard sky. Backyard. Yeah, this one. I'm going to um, let you see briefly what's in there. And I'll move this over a bit for you. The, um, the static data, the most important static data in the observing plan is shown in this view. And so I'll close that, move the screen a bit for you, and I'll click download in order to bring the file to my local computer from the community website. So there we go, and I'll save that. And now I'll open it for viewing. I'll use the um, most recently used file list to open the plan as it appears in Deep Sky Planner. You can see that there's a good bit more data shown in Deep Sky Planner than on the community site. Uh, part of this is um, static data and part of it is data that is computed in real time like the apparent position of the objects, the altitude and azimuth, and so forth. So we know that we have the file locally on our system. And the next thing I need to do is convert that to the file format required by Sky Safari. Deep Sky Planner stores this file in its own private format. Uh, the format used by Sky Safari is a bit different. So to do the conversion, we'll choose Export, Observing Plan, and since Deep Sky Planner can save observing plans in multiple formats, we need to select the Sky Safari format, which is this one. We need to select the file that's going to be converted, which is the one that we just viewed. And the file name for the exported file is generated. It needs to have the SkyList file extension for it to be understood by Sky Safari. And I'll just leave the rest of this, the, uh, the folder location and the file name the same. You can change those if you like, but I'm going to leave them the same for this demonstration. 
So we'll click Export File and Save. And you can see the results of the export here. And if you're familiar with the file format for Sky Safari, this should look familiar to you. If you don't know anything about that format, it's okay. This simply shows you that some work was done. So now that we have the file created, we need to move the file to Sky Safari. Okay, so now I have an observing plan file saved in Sky Safari format. The next step will be to transmit the file to the Android device. And the only way I know to do this is to connect the Android device to the Windows system so that it looks like another drive. And after I'm able to do that, I just copy the file into the proper place on the Android device. The problem becomes finding the Android device. So what we'll have to do is connect the, window, the Android device get the proper USB driver into Windows to be able to communicate with it, and then we can just see it in our File Explorer and proceed. So for this demonstration, I am running Sky Safari 4 on an Android phone. It's a Samsung Galaxy S7 phone. So we need to have a look at the File Explorer and I see the file that we've exported. The next thing I have to do is make the phone apparent to Windows. Okay, I've moved over to the Android phone and I've attached its charge cable. The micro USB end is in the phone and the other end, the raw USB, is plugged into the computer. Now I need to tell uh, the phone to use the charge cable not only for charging, but additionally for file transfer. So the way I do that is to drag down from the top of the phone screen to get a menu that includes USB charging. So I tap USB charging and I want to use the file transfer mode so I tap file transfer. So when I do this uh, the Android phone should appear on my Windows File Explorer as an extra drive. And now we return back to the Windows File Explorer and we can see the Samsung device, which is the phone, is now showing up in File Explorer. So I'm going to copy the file that we want to export and I'm going to paste it in the Samsung phone. So I need to scroll down to the Sky Safari Plus folder and place this file in the Observing Lists directory. So I'll paste and there we see it. So now the next step is to return to the Android phone, start Sky Safari and see whether it discovers the new observing list file. Back again to the Android device and I'll start Sky Safari by tapping on its icon and Sky Safari starts up in order to find the observing list that I just transferred I tap search bottom of the screen and this will display all of the object lists in the phone and I scroll down to the bottom where the user built observing lists are 
and I see Backyard Sky, which is the one that we transferred. So if I tap Backyard Sky, I can see that the list did transfer, and all the objects that were in that list are here on the phone. So from this point, I can work through this list the way I would normally, using Sky Safari, using all its features, telescope control, star charting, etc. And that does it. So that's how we can use Deep Sky Planner's observing lists with Sky Safari on Android.